together a Dallas vs. Everybody track with, I'm gonna say 12 artists was on there, Big Chief was talking at the uh, interlude at the beginning. Um, it, it started trending worldwide on Twitter. Man, um, shut up. <laughs> K104 did a write up, 97.9 yeah. did a write up. I seen it. Um, a lot of artists were upset though because they weren't chosen. Um, how, how did you, what did you get from that? That that song, that project that we worked on? Man, shout out to you, to you and uh, DJ Frosty for putting it together, man. And having all, you know, some of the top dogs in the city to uh, come together on that track. And, uh, but uh, as far as that, man, you can't really, you know, get mad because you wouldn't know that. Just think of how many, or it's a lot of more of us that's still so out here doing do our, that. I couldn't have been on it, you know what I'm saying? They could have had, they could have had somebody else on it or we, they would never even reached out to us, you know what I'm saying? But we wouldn't have been tripping, you know, shout out to everybody that did their thing, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out to y'all for reaching out to us, but you know, you can't get mad, man. You just got to go hard, keep going hard, don't even worry about that, don't worry about that. Cause you wasn't on that. It's gonna be more opportunities, you know, more doors open. Just you just gotta stay at it. Don't even trip. Now, growing up out of West Dallas, give us a little bit of history. You know how you know West Dallas is known. You know it's the hood. Yeah. How, like, give us the history growing up. Like, how was it? Man, I mean, it's just like any other hood. You know, poverty stricken, drugs, violence. You know what I'm saying? It used to be like fights after school, blacks versus Mexicans, or domestic violence, you know what I'm saying? And we are actually advocates of domestic domestic violence and um you might have you might see a girl fighting her boyfriend after school. It's like all type of crazy stuff. But at the same time, man, you just man, you just you know, peer pressure, peer pressure is, is crazy, but you can't you can't you can't let that drown you out and, you know, smother you. You just gotta keep your head up and really ha have a mind for your own. Cause if you don't have a mind for your own, you know, you following the leader then, you know, and that leader is not the you know, leading you in the right direction, you know, you know what you know where that's gonna lead you to. Downhill. So but shout out to the West man and um I wanna say shout out to my boy Truth Rocks, man. We got together like when I was fifteen, he was like eighteen and he was killing, he had a CD called Sacrifice and Dedication. And um, I'm like, man, I heard that CD and it, man, that right there, man, that CD inspired me to just change up my whole style. Because at first I was rapping about everything that was going on going on, on the radio. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when I heard that CD, that changed my whole perspective and outlook on things. That was like real life music and real life situations and experiences, you know what I'm saying? And um, man, I just, I've been going hard ever since. You know, my style kind of, you know, kind of transitioning, but, you know, I just been going hard competitive, you know what I'm saying? Just like, not even competing with nobody else, competing with myself, trying to make myself better. Big Chief, how much of an inspiration was Big Chief coming Big Chief. out of that same hood? I mean, it's, uh, Big Chief, before I even knew who Big Chief was, man, I heard the, uh, the song, I think it was Diabolical, with uh, Mr. Pook and Mr. Lucci. And uh, I ain't know who he was, but later on throughout the years, I end up I end up finding out who he was, man, because I'm a youngster. But you know, my I don't already heard about him like through my people, you know, my family, you know, the OGs and all that, you know. So uh, I mean, for as far as him doing this thing, man, I thought Big Chief, Big Chief was supposed to be one of the, I feel like one of the biggest artists, you know, that done held it down, period. But. You know, he's still doing his thing, he's still grinding, and I actually have him coming, uh, that's gonna be on my CD. He's gonna be on my CD, Access Granted, the compilation. We got a song called Street Love, and, uh, you know, the Chief doing his thing, man. Right. Shout out, he's been, been holding it down, you know, still making that good music, you know.